Here in this video today, I will be teaching you how to play Something in the Orange by Zach Bryan. Let's get into it. Hey, I'm Trevor here with Guitars and Garages, and today we're going to be breaking this video up into three sections for you. It's going to be the intro, the verse, and the chorus. Make sure you guys stick around near the end of the video where we'll be playing this song around full speed if you'd like to play along. Now let's get into teaching this song. Okay, so for the intro to this song, you're going to start on the E minor. And you're going to play the down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up strumming pattern for it. Okay, and it's going to sound something like this. And then after that, on the fifth string, you're going to go open, second fret. And on the sixth string, you're going to go open, third fret. And then you're going to play a G, and you're going to continue that down, up, down, up, down up down at strumming pattern for three measures. So it's going to sound something like this. And then it's going to go on the fifth string, it's going to go seventh fret. And then it's going to go fifth fret. And then it's going to go open. And then you're going to play that E minor for that down, up down, up down strumming pattern. So for the verse, you're going to start on your E minor, and it's going to be the same strumming pattern you played for the intro. It's going to go down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And then you're going to switch to what I think is a D9. Uh, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. And it's going to go down, up, down, up. And then you're going to go to your G, and you're going to go down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Now you're going to have to palm mute and you're going to start out with your G shape and I will count them out for you so you know how many downstrokes I'm actually hitting and I'll move over a little bit here so you can see my palm. You go one, two, three, four, five, six on the G and then you'll take your index finger and put it second fret of the sixth string and you'll go down, down 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 for four beats and then on the tenth of beat you'll switch to your E minor and continue that same strumming pattern so it'll sound something like this So for your chorus, you're going to keep that same strumming pattern you was doing in the intro and the verse and stuff where it's down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, except you're going to be starting on your C at 9. So it's going to go down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, and then you're going to switch to your G. And it's going to go down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, and then you're going to switch to a D. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, and then your E minor. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And you'll play that for four measures, so it'll sound something like this.
okay and in that time he's singing you know throughout the chorus you know to you i'm just a man all that and then it's going to break down into the next part of the chorus which is a little more tricky he'll stop singing but he'll start picking so it's a little more tricky because it uses hammer-ons and pull-offs um if you don't know what a hammer-on is you know it's you pick a chord and you hammer on like with your index finger or wherever you're at uh, pull off is when you hit a chord and you just pull down and let off okay so he starts with the C shape and we're gonna be hammering on and off the second fret of the fourth string so he hammers on like every time on the downstroke the first downstroke so it's like so it'll go down up down up down up, down, up. and then he'll switch to the G and he'll just play that normal it'll go right down up down up down up down up and then he'll go to that D and he'll go down up down up and then he'll put his pinky finger down on the first string third fret and he'll he'll strum it he'll go down down he'll pull it off he'll go down and then he'll take his index finger off of the second fret third string with a down stroke and then he'll go to that E minor down and then take your middle finger off of the fourth string second fret and then he'll hammer back on to that C again right so it'll sound something like this to that verse again where he goes to the E minor All right, well, that pretty much wraps it up for this one. Thank you guys for sticking around towards the end of the video. And we would really like to know what some of y'all's favorite songs are. So what should we play next? Drop us a comment down below and let us know. Next week is going to be kind of a different video, but it's still guitar related and everything. It's just, it's not going to be a how to play, right? We're going to, I'm going to be going out and picking something up that I've already purchased for the channel. It's going to be really cool. Zach, he knows nothing about it. I've done this all on my own. And we're also trying to work on I Walk the Line by Johnny Cash and Kill a Man by Ben Burgess. But don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And if you did, maybe you should check out one of our other songs we've done by Zach Bryan called Nine Ball. But that's it for this one, guys. Thank you guys for sticking around, and we'll see you next time.